Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AAL. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. If you're not sure what I mean by 30 minute, I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, another very rough day now in AAL's defense. Um, it, the entire airline sector got destroyed. The entire markets had a rough day. So it's not like the markets were booming and then here American Airlines was just going to new lows or anything like that. But nonetheless, still a rough day. And the first key update that needs to be made, and this comes uh, you know, from a, a previous analysis video I did, uh, but this is just based on a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of support are broken and closed below, they tend to act as resistance. So this level right here at $11.35, uh, you know, was a level of support headed into today, but then that opening 30 minutes, the price broke down below it. And then you can see this rule played out perfectly. There was an attempted bounce back to the upside. And then you can see that is right where the price got rejected from and then rolled back over. So like I said, I'm not saying the price cannot bounce or anything like that. I'm just saying that if there is any sort of bounce, then yeah, definitely the, the first key big test of the bounce is gonna be right there at $11.35. And if the price can work its way up there, then from more of an overarching standpoint, that is where you'll wanna keep an eye on the 50 period moving average, that purple line up there, currently valued at $12.50. But as of right now, I'm probably getting a little bit too far ahead of myself because first off, the price just needs to get up to 11.35 and prove that it can break through there. As far as levels of support are concerned, initial level, nothing fancy, nothing complicated behind it at all other than the fact of where did the bleeding finally stop today? And that was right there at $10.50. So a whole lot of people are gonna be watching 10.50, long shorts, everybody in between, because if the price does not hold above 11.50, the next key overarching level, not until down here at these lows, right around $10. Uh, not that the, you know there's a guarantee that if it fails, it's dropping straight down at 1050. My point is that th that's a pretty big leeway, especially on basically a $10 stock. 50 cent move from a percentage standpoint, that can add up pretty quickly. So like I said, that, those are gonna be the two main technical levels going forward, 1050 in the near term, and then overall, right down there at $10 from back here from a few weeks ago. But overall, looking pretty bearish here, but we'll see what Thursday brings. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.